The title of our webinar today is The Freezing Stage in Freeze Drying uh, and we're talking about fundamental concepts of the freezing stage. Uh, just to briefly introduce myself, my name is Henning Giesele. Um, I'm working for the uh, division or within the division of pharmaceutics at the University of Erlangen, which is located in Germany, and I'm the head of the freeze drying focus group there. Our group really performs research in the field of all aspects of freeze drying, starting with uh, formulation development for proteins and peptides, uh, furthermore, uh, perform analytical uh, procedures to determine the critical formulation temperature, for example, freeze dry microscopy or uh, differential scanning calorimetry. And uh, we have a strong expertise in process design and process optimization using innovative PAT tools, so called process analytical technology tools. And um, also, we are uh, performing research in the field of scaling lab scale cycles to production scale. But today we are dealing with the freezing stage in freeze drying and let me start with a general introduction. Uh, first as uh, for recall, uh, the freeze drying process itself typically consists of three different phases. So the first phase is the freezing phase. It's the principal dehydration step. So most of the solvent, which is typically water, is separated from the solutes to form ice. The next step would be the primary drying phase. And here we remove basically the already crystallized ice um, by sublimation. This is the general principle of freeze drying. The longest phase is the primary drying phase. And therefore, typically people optimize this phase uh, to get to more economic process conditions to cut cycle time to save money. Secondary drying phase is the removal of unfrozen water by diffusion and desorption. Important for us is that a truly optimized freeze drying process is optimized for all three phases of the process and not only for the primary drying phase which is typically done in uh, laboratories. What's the overall importance of uh, the freezing phase? The freezing phase can greatly affect the physical chemical properties of the product. So it's product relevant. Uh, for example, with regard to crystallization, degree of crystallization of um, the API, the active pharmaceutical ingredient, or uh, an excipient. Mm -hmm. 